Welcome to Progressive Automation. Today we're going to show you how to control the speed of your linear actuator using one of our AC14 DC speed controllers. Uh, to achieve this we're also going to use one of our RC RC01 non-momentary rocker switches and our AC0312 volt battery. Uh, I've done some of the pre-work for us so if you're taking a look at the wiring diagram on our website you'll notice that I, I've set it up the same way. So terminal T4 and terminal T3 are connected Terminal T1 and Terminal T6 are connected and also T6 goes to the motor end of the uh, AC14 DC speed controller and T3 goes to the other end. If you look really closely when you actually receive your DC speed controller, you probably won't see it in here, but you'll see two terminals are labeled motor, two terminals are labeled, labeled power, so that, that'll help you determine which side to screw it into. So I've already connected my battery terminal to the term uh, power end. I've connected my rocker switch to the motor end. All I'm going to need to do is plug in my linear actuator. And then you can see the speed variance here. So you can bring it down to a crawl, or you can speed it up at full speed. You can also stop it at any point. You can reverse the polarity and it'll go back in the opposite direction. This is very useful when you have an application where you need to vary the speed, or if you're using two linear actuators and one is faster than the other, you want to slow it down, this is a good way to do that. If you want to take a look at the wiring diagram, you can go to www.progressiveautomations.com or www.actuatorzone.com. Email us at Progressive Auto, info at progressiveautomations.com or give us a call 1-800-676-6123.